most powerful thing of humankind is not the fist. It is right here. It is the words that come forth from our mouths. And determine on this day to allow those words to be an encouragement to others. We do have the ability to encourage with our words. We also have the ability to discourage. But in order to maintain a positive mood, we have to make sure that our soul is in good condition. When we speak words, we're not just speaking to others. We're speaking to ourselves. There are literally a trillion cells within your mind and body, and they listen to your words that you speak about them and the conditions that they live within. In Proverbs 10, verse 21, the Bible says, Good people's words will help many others. I believe that is God's will for you and for me, to use this power that we have been given. Some of us don't even realize the power of the spoken word. The words that we speak have great power to do great good or, the reverse, great harm. If we speak words of encouragement and hope, we can lift others up. And that is exactly what God wills for you and I to do. When the sun is shining and our hearts are at peace, it seems natural to speak kind words to family members and friends. But when we're facing difficulties in life, and those old storm clouds come up from overhead, and our souls are troubled by the challenges of life, we may find it very difficult to be uplifting or encouraging of others or of ourself. But God intends us at all times to speak words of kindness, wisdom, and God's truth regardless of our circumstances, regardless of our emotions. Now, it can be difficult, but you'll find over time that it is the easy way because when you speak words that are positive in difficult times, they come through you first. They minister to you first. You're uplifted in profound ways beyond which you can even imagine at the time. When we speak this way, we're doing as God desires us to do. We're living in faith. We're not just looking to appearances. We're not being determined in our daily life by our difficulties. No, we're living in our faith, and we're speaking from our faith. And we share, at that moment, a priceless gift that is needed all over the world. We give glory to God when we do this, as thoughtful, thankful women and men who seek the honor of God. We determine, in our daily life, to do nothing less. God bless you.